Hey guys, what's up? So today I'll be showing you how I screen record my videos and mostly how I edit my videos. So basically, you guys can down if you're on iOS 11, um, I use the iOS 11 screen recorder on this phone and on my iOS um, 10 device, 10.3.3. On my iPhone 5C, I use like I download some screen recorders. I have some screen recorders from Cydia, like Airshow, AntRack, which I made videos on. And I made a video in the past of like how I screen record my device. But on iOS 11 and up, I use the iOS 11 screen recorder feature. I mean, it's built in. Why not? And if you guys want to use that, it's really simple and easy. You just go to your settings and you scroll down to. Was the control center? I think it is. Yeah, and then customize controls, and then you just add tap on the um, green the add button to the screen recording, and then you pull up your um, control center. You see on the bottom left where the red dot is uh, blinking. That's you press that. You hold that in to get, the, and then tap on audio if you want audio on or off. Then you tap, and then you just tap on it to start recording. You get like a three second down countdown, and you start recording. So that's how I screen record on my iPhone 5C or any device other than iOS 11 um, but if you're not really sure what the I mean like if you have a screen recorder just look up like what device you have Android iPhone or iPhone what what iOS you have and you just basically look up screen recorders and or you just comment down like help you guys with iOS Android I'm not I've had an Android for like five years so I'm not like familiar with that I, I know some you could just download uh, Android screen recorder from the Play Store though and Windows I can't stand Windows phone sorry so basically, on my iPhone 5, 5C, we're on iOS 10.3.3. I have Pixel Rec, BB Rec, Video, like I said, Airshow, Cydia Airshow, regular Airshow, and Ant Rec. And between all, I usually use Airshow from Cydia because it has a screen recorder. I mean, a face cam. I usually use that. So, alright, so how I edit my videos, I have QCut Pro. Um, it's currently seven dollars. There's ways to get it for free, but I really suggest you buy it from the App Store. And also, I honestly really do suggest you buy from the App Store because it's permanent and it can't be revoked. If you buy from a third-party app, you could be on a project, and middle of a project, and get revoked and you lose everything. So I just really just suggest you buy it. It's six ninety-nine and it's amazing. Um, edit app, video edit app, and it's definitely worth every penny. I think it's even worth like fifteen, twenty bucks. I mean, it's my favorite by far. Better than iMovie. I think like it's as good as like Final Cut Pro for the computer, but it's for like your phone. So it's amazing. And they update every couple months, like when there's like buds. It has been updated in three months. So this is it right here, QCut Pro. I mean if you guys are not sure if you want or not, you can just download QCut, which is free, but it's like, you know, two minute limit. So Alright, so now I'm gonna show you how I basically edit my videos. So basically you go on a top left plus and you can name it whatever you want. Especially when you have a lot of movies going on at once, you wanna um or a lot of video when you edit a lot of videos at once you want to name it like you know what you're doing with it so for example I'm gonna name this um, test um, for YouTube create and HD what you want in resolution orientation I usually leave it landscape HD that's the best um, anything like medium quality or low quality it's complete uh, crap it comes out like really bad quality it looks really bad it's not even worth making a video like that so you always want to do HD and then do landscape or whatever when I had yeah landscape I think I had on not portrait yeah not portrait so basically when you are in you tap on a plus you got a video photo text so draw music and voice so the thing about this app is that it only lets you add two videos um over each other so you got one video here and then you add like when you add a video um let's add this video you only get you got one more video you add photos you got a hundred photos on top of each other like so I'll show you so I only got two videos so. If I had one, another video, it's only for video, right? Doesn't matter what video you choose, you only can do two layers. So my thing, if you want to do more videos, all you basically do is like make sure it's like you get it right. So you double tap on it to like you have this new pop up, which I'll show you everything means, and you can move it up here. So let's say you want like another video below it, because you, all you do is like tap on here on top, the second one from the right, and then you just, you know export your album or send to YouTube or yeah, I mean export the album and then. You know, then you add that video in here, and then you can just add another video over it. So that's what you would do. So let's say you want this video, you want to edit it. What I would do is, first off, you want to add your photo in the background. That's what you first off want to do. So mine, my pictures. <laughs> so I, I had down all these photos. Just so I want to add this one. You tap on it, and then you want to make sure it's lined up. Like you want to put it right here, because then like you see the background. Then you have your other photo. Make sure it's all lined up. Since I'm just starting a video, it's really easy. But like, let's say like, you know, this is over here, and then you have, you know, 
this right here you would just basically like you see you want to get like exactly right here like as soon as it starts you just tap on it double tap on it and it'll bring you right there then you can add it so i'm going to um do how i make my video so i have my background first because it's really important that you do like the one you want like background first because the more you do the more it'll overlay each other so i'll show you for example so you do background first and then you want to do um your mock-up or whatever so that's my the phone one and you gotta make sure it's transparent because if it's not transparent you can't do a video like inside of it um like where you see like the gray spot inside the iphone so i'm showing you for example see how this this one right here it like it's in front like i'm trying to say if that if you had your background suck in like that then the background cover it let's say you want to add the background first so once you do that then you add your video so let's say i want to do this video choose and then that so then you would double tap on it. You have all these bu um, bunch on the bottom. I'm going to do this really quickly. If any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll tell you guys. So basically, on the bottom, with that, uh, you have the check mark. Is just the check mark when you're just done, like with editing or whatever. And the thing on the right of that, the two copies, um, that's basically you're doubling it. So if I did it with this one, you're just doubling it. See, that's all you're doing. Okay, and then the scissors is just cutting it. So let's say like you don't want this part. You would cut it, and then you could just do whatever you want with this part, or do whatever you want with the other part, like this part. So that's cutting it, and then on the on top you have um, all the way to the left. That's your back arrow. So like if you did some, a mistake, you press that, and you went back. And that's your settings right here on the top. And then the second one from the right is how you would upload it, and then the one on the right is how you would play it. So double tap. Um, this this transitions. So you tap on a plus, and that's transitions. And then the obviously the trash is delete it. Tap on the trash. Okay, let's get that back. Double tap. And okay, and then um, so you hold on to it. That has just and you move it back and forth. That's how you move it. Double tap. And this is your volume. You turn the volume really low or leave it as one point zero zero, which is the highest it could be. This right here, I don't really use just transparency. This is um for fast fast it up and slow it down. So obviously I did speed. It's gonna be like really really small. So I made a one minute video of 16 second video. How fast it's going. So I'm gonna put that back to 1.00. And then this right here is you can cut it. So let's say you don't want that red, you just do that. Press done. And then there you go, you cut it. I don't really use this, this is colors. Um, I don't really use any of these over here. Border size, I use border size and color you could use. I don't really use that though. Round corner. And this is just, it, um, this tr um, rotates it. The two arrow ones, and then the picture one, the eye one takes a picture of the screen. So you take a tap on it, image save the camera. So let's see one image. You just tap on that, the eye, and they'll save it. And I don't, even, I don't even use these two. I don't know what they do. I don't really know what they did. Like, I'm, they might move it. I don't really know. So after I do that, I would add just if I do a song, I'll add a song. So video, file sharing, and let's say I want. Uh, Hard track beat, whatever. Choose, and then there you go. And I'll usually, uh, this is a video, so you can just move the video out of the way. So I would basically go to volume and I'll put it down to like 0 0.1, 0 0.01, or 0 0.02, or 0 0.03. So you like, you can barely hear it. You know, you always play it and always, you always playing it. Play the video, see if you want your volume higher or lower, and all that good stuff. And make sure you use non copyright music because if you use copyright music, you're gonna be in big trouble. So, you know. And then I would double tap on this and make this as long as the video. And same as this, like make this as long as the video and like stop it as soon as like the video ends. So also this is, since the music's longer, you cut it with the video. So it's like that, double tap and then trash. So since like it's not with your mock-up, you double tap it and you can like make it shorter. So make it fit inside the iPhone. So make sure like it goes and then you could like below it like with the dots are I don't explain it. it's like right below like the image you see 0 0.05 like right above that um, you could push it up and down and like basically what that does or drag it up and down and like makes it bigger or smaller so like when you add like a lot of stuff like on the side you know like let's say like you're not looking at the video then like you need more space but if you're watching the video then obviously you need you know make it bigger so 
I'm going to make this just, I'm not like really trying my best, you know, make it perfect, but that's just how you would do it. And then there you guys go. I mean, like I said, you would make the, you make the background and the mock-up as long as your video, and then you watch it, and then when you're ready to upload it, you tap on here, and then tap on, then, you know, you export to your album and upload it from your uh, gallery, but I think it's better to upload it and easier um, upload right for QCAR Pro, so you press send to YouTube, it'll load, or well, press send to YouTube, make sure you always do high quality, 720 or 1080, I really can't see the difference that much, but don't, don't ever do it in medium quality, don't ever do it in low quality, it's really bad and then you know you just upload youtube and then take some time make sure you're connected to wi-fi have a good connection just be patient while our uploads so it's also self-draw so like if you want to point something out you just do that and then you could just circle it and then you know that, that's really it um music is i don't really use i use vid i like import my videos like my music so like what i'll do is i'll have like an app like how to download videos and I'll import it to QCAP Pro and I'll tap on video and then file sharing and I'll find the video. You can either like tap on the video you want, tap on choose like I did and then drag it down or you just tap on audio only. And you can do as much audio clips as you want, like I said. But like video wise, like I said, I had this video added. Like since the video is in a way like that, you just drag it down below it so you can't even see the video. But you can just tap on audio only because you can add as much audio clips as you want and that's basically what you, all you want is audio. And you can do a voiceover. So, like, I could press on voice. I could do, like, blah, blah, blah. I'll do my voice. And I can edit that. Like, I'll, like, double tap. I'll cut. All that stuff with my voice. So, that's really it. And also, you can do text. So, text. Uh, you add whatever text you want. Let's say, I want to say hi. Move it around. And let's say you want to, like, turn somewhere. You just move like that. Just like that. And, like, you want the middle more on the side. There you go. And you want to transition with the text. You tap on the magic wand with two arrows. And then tap on the plus. And then you tap on which transition you want. And the cool thing I like is you can do custom transition. And you can just do like that. Like zooming in or zooming out or whatever. And then also you could like move it around. So like move around like that. Move it. And then move around like that. And then when you play it. Also like down here with the blue you can make it like. The longer you put it to the right. Like the longer the blue is. Obviously the, lo the slower your transition is going to be. The shorter you do it with the blue. The longer you the um, faster your transition would be so let's say I want like that so it's gonna like move a little kind of how I did it press play and basically with video editing you're always watching your videos and like you know seeing how perfect it is and you know that's what I'm trying to say is like when a lot of people make videos and like when people don't see about videos and making apps and games there's so much work it's just coding with videos like you have to watch to make sure it's perfect and like honestly guys if you upload videos honest I would always you never know like you you might show your password by asking or might show something you don't want to show. Always go by, watch your videos, and edit them because it could really save you a lot of, I don't know, work or save you. It could like really save you in the end then. Because like let's say like a password pops up by accident, you didn't realize it, or a notification popped up, or you know your, your girlfriend's number, and then your girlfriend's whatever something. I don't know. It's always good to rewatch your videos and you know edit any mistakes and all that good stuff. So this is definitely my favorite by far on iphones ipads and supports ipads i'm pretty sure so that's really how you do it and then to save it or you just tap on movies and then it saves it for you so i think it says automatically if you just double tap and close it out it should save automatically but i would just definitely press on movies it says saving and then that's how you know it's saved and then you know once you're back here you double tap and then close the app and then you open it you just tap on your, your project you're working on and then continue from there so my thing is that there's a bug right now with QCAR Pro that sometimes it might just like cut out your video and then you lose everything. I learned the hard way. I was two seconds away from um, uploading my video and after I took like 45 minutes to edit a video. So I added like the funny stuff in the beginning of my video. And then two seconds away from, literally I was about to press the um, this button right here to upload it. It then like crashed or something like that. So there's a bug right now with it. So it probably get fixed really, really soon because QCAR Pro updates every couple months. So see they update when there's a bug or a problem. So it's probably going to be really soon. But right now it's not fixed. But like... My thing is that if you're doing a really, really long project, every, like, honestly, every half hour of work, I would automatically, for anything, I would automatically just save it to your, um, export to your album. So you do need a lot of space, but like I said, I was, I would export it to your album. So just in case if it does, like, me get messed up, you can always just, um, import it from your album to here, and then you, you know, more work, and then every, after 15 minutes or every half hour, definitely, you know, save it to your camera, because the worst comes to worst, you lose 15 or minutes or a half hour work but like you won't be losing like days of work which 
trust me, it happens to people, and, like, I found it the hard way. I mean, like, I could have done a video for, like, days, which I don't really do that for videos for days, but, like, that would suck you more than just 45 minutes, you know? 45 minutes is not as bad as working a video for even days or weeks. That would be terrible. So, that basically wraps up the video, guys. I mean, I know it's a long one, but, you know, that's just how it has to be with these kind of videos. I had to bang one out for you guys. <laughs> but, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Have any questions? I'm really, really familiar with this app, this um, editing program. I could definitely help you guys out. So, and I'm on, I am might start using, like, download um, $200, like, Final Cut Pro on my Mac and use that. But I do like this. I think this is really amazing. I can do so much with this and just play around with it and you get so much better with it. You know what I mean? It's, it's pretty amazing. So, guys. And also, like I said, copyright music, stay away from that. Use non-copyright music and make sure you get credit to the artist and all that stuff. Because music, you get in big trouble for. So just really, really pay attention to that. That's why sometimes in my videos I don't even use music. I just don't feel like dealing with that. And my channel, I work so hard for my channel. I don't want to take any chances to lose it. So, you guys, thanks for watching. Peace.